Good evening. Thank you all for coming out today with me to the year 2021. I really appreciate you all being here. Some of us got here four years early, so I appreciate that as well. I'm Melvin Carter, and I'm excited to have served you these last four years in St. Paul. I'm excited about where we are as a city right now, and I'm equally excited about where we're going next as a city. Four years ago, we had a conversation about getting out of the mode of chasing symptoms around and said, we as a city are going to start addressing core issues where, our, where jobs and our economy is concerned. We're going to stop. We're going to get out of this kind of perennial cycle of whether we're going to cut services on the thousands of people who need them or raise taxes. We got out of that by growing our city and by approaching things like the Ford plant with a big vision for the future of our city so that we know we're building St. Paul for the future. When we start talking about jobs, we realize the goal wasn't to give $100 million to banks or to invest in those institutions, but the goal was to address, we realized as a city that in the Twin Cities metro area back in 2017, it's hard to remember, but back in 2017, remember we realized there were more job vacancies than job seekers in our city? So we realized our challenge was to address the barriers that are disconnecting people from our economy. That's why we built our city based on making sure that our schools could provide an education, a high quality education for all of our children. And we, we expanded the St. Paul Promise neighborhood and made sure we were helping families. That's why we invested in transit, and we've got Riverview Corridor underway, and we've got more and more projects underway. That's why we invested in early education, so we know we can get our children off to a great start. And that's also why we weaned our city off of our addiction of thinking that public safety is only about hiring more and more and more cops. We realized, we realized that's what got us into this mess in the first place. That's what overcriminalized and marginalized people from whole communities out of our society. That was what was destabilizing our community. And so we took a different route. We said safe communities are built on stable communities where families could afford to pay the rent, put food on the table, where children could feel hopeful about their future. We realize that safety is about police officers who are from our community, who know our community, who reflect our diversity, and who have a stake in our neighborhoods. And we realize that none of it would work without that trust in the center. That's why we worked hard to revise the use of force policies so that we can all be on one accord about when our officers are and are not authorized to use force. That's why we established those mental health response teams so that when our officers met people in crisis, we could connect them to help and know we didn't have to use force. And that's exactly why we elevated the visibility of our civilian review team, because we knew that trust that's been broken in the light can't be broke, can't be rebuilt in the dark. We can build on all of those things. I'm excited to continue to do it as, as mayor for another four years. Thank you so much for being here.